but life can sometimes be dramatic. In the last video, I spoke about and shared with you tips how to live in the power of your dreams. Now on the flip side, let me say, people are not always going to be excited about you living your dreams. Some are gonna have negative things to say, all with the attempt to burst your dream bubble. Now, what do you do? Well, let's chat about it. But first, let me say, welcome to Experience the Groove to Improve Your Life channel. I'm your host, Joey O'Dowdy, AKA Dr. Dancer. I wanna thank you guys for watching all my videos, for your likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Please keep them coming. Here's the thing. There are negative people known for telling others what they can't achieve, and they will hesitate to let their tongue set things ablaze. In fact, they'll even tell you things like, you can't do that, or aren't you getting too old? Gee, why are you so dumb? Look, you'll never fit into that because you're too fat. Now, my question to you is, do any of these scenarios sound familiar? They do. Well, that's the sad part, because millions of people just like you have accepted these negative beliefs as truth. Now, that's a problem, and I mean big problem. Here's why. Because what those statements or sayings in connection to these people do is inject hurt, disbelief, and a topic I'll speak more about later, fear. But I say fear not. Do not become a victim of the tub. How not? Well, it's like what I've talked about before. It's all in the knowing. Now here are three takeaways for you. One. Know that you don't have to let someone else's negative tongue stagnate your life from moving in a forward direction. Two, know that you set the stage or the course for your life. No one else does, it's you. Three, you have the ability to use your tongue to speak the things you want into existence Oh, yes, you do. I know about this all too well from my own experiences. So let me share the story with you. Okay, you guys know this, and I've spoken about it before. Before I moved to California, I lived in Orlando, Florida, and I also worked in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So when I was living in Orlando, uh, I was called to work on this television show. It was a pilot for I think CBS television called Hopspot. And I met this fabulous designer and I will call her by initials SW. And she was really, and still is, a wonderful designer and a good friend of mine. So she said to me while we were on the set, hey, my daughter, because this was a kid's show that we were working on, my daughter is in a dance uh, team in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which is where she lived. Can you come down and teach her master class for us? I said, sure, I'll be glad to do so. So I went there, did a master class with them, and I ended up becoming the artistic director for the competition team.
for in the midst of all this, SW and I were working together and she said, hey, Joey, I have this guy who says that he knows you that I want you to meet. And I said, really? Okay, well, I guess we'll meet. And so uh, when she introduced me to the guy, I realized that I didn't know him. <laughs> right away I could tell, wait a minute, I'd never met this guy before, so uh, who is he? So anyway, he was acting as though he knew me to her. And so after the meeting, she said to me that he said to her, you can't trust this guy. Don't trust this guy, he doesn't come through with anything. And I said, really? I said, this guy would say that about me and he doesn't know me? And so immediately, what came to my mind was, you know what, time will, will tell. Time will tell. And I thought, you don't know me and you're dictating what's going to occur and you don't have control over that. I do and I know my ability. Like I talk about this in my other vid videos. I knew what I was capable of. So years passed and SW and I continued to work on other things. And in fact, she introduced me to a director and I worked on a big commercial about a clock or something with Macy's. And when I moved to California, I was working on this pilot, television pilot, where I played a pirate choreographer who was sort of trapped in time. contacted her to do the costuming and she did a fabulous job on it and we've continued since then to be friends and work on other projects as well but I thought to myself when this guy said that about me that it didn't know me time will tell and I know that I wasn't going to allow him to dictate what was going to happen with my life and he couldn't use his tongue to do that because I was dictating with my own tongue but through my actions as to what course I was setting for my life. So my takeaway with you would be time will tell. I can say this to you, time will tell. Don't worry about what other people are saying. Don't worry about what they try to predict for you. It's up to the Almighty and it's up to you by speaking what you want and putting that into action. Till next time.